Today we're going to have a look at how we create a table of values and how we graph that table of values. So let's begin. Let's begin by having a look at this problem. Kelly's Cabs is a taxi company that charges a $4.50 flag full. Now a flag full means that when they get into the cab, they immediately get charged $4.50 before they travel anywhere. But then they also get charged an extra $3.25 for every kilometre driven to the customer's destination. Our first task is to complete the table below to show how much the total taxi fare would be after 0 kilometres, 1 kilometre, 2 kilometres, all the way through to 8 kilometres. So let's start by working out the cost for zero kilometres. Now for zero kilometres we're only going to get charged the flag full. The flag full being that charge we get for getting inside the cap. So we're going to pay the flag full of $4.50 which we can immediately put in our table values right here under the zero kilometres. Now you might have noticed I didn't include the units, but the units is already on the left here inside our label. So next, let's find out how much it costs for one kilometre. So for one kilometre, we need to pay that $4.50 flag full for getting inside the cab. But then we need to pay an extra $3.25 for that one kilometre that we travel. So the cost for one kilometre is going to be equal to that $4.50 flag full plus $3.25. 25, which is equal to $7.75. And we enter that value of $7.75 under the one kilometer heading. All right, so what about two kilometers? Well, our cost for two kilometers is going to be our flag full again of $4.50 for getting inside the cab, plus an extra two lots of $3.25 for each kilometre. Now that equals $4.50 plus $6.50, which in total equals $11. Now we enter that $11 under the two kilometre heading. And then we repeat that until we complete the table. But I'm going to fast forward that. So as you can see, I've now gone ahead and completed my table of values. So let's get on to graphing. Now, every graph requires a few key components. The first thing a gra every graph should have is a heading. Now I'm going to call my graph cost of Kelly's caps. Then I need to decide what variable I'm going to put on each axis. Now I've got two variables here. I've got distance and I've got fair cost. Now on my y-axis I should have what's known as the dependent variable and on my x-axis I should have what's known as the independent variable. But what does any of that mean? Well, I've got to start thinking about and saying to myself which one of these two variables depends on the other and I like to just say it out loud and think about which one sounds right. So for example here, do you think that distance would depend on how much you paid? Or do you think how much you would pay depends on the distance that you travel? Now, when I just think about that, I think it makes more sense to say how much you pay is dependent on the distance. So that means how much you pay is dependent. So on this y-axis, I'm going to put my total fare cost which means that the distance must be the independent variable. So I'm going to put the distance down here. The next thing we need to decide is an appropriate scale starting from zero for our x-axis. Now what's really important with scales is it doesn't matter how much you necessarily go up by as long as you go up by the same amount each time. Now here, I think it's appropriate to go up by one kilometer for each square. 
Finally, I need to have a look at my scale for the Y axis. Following the same steps, I need to look at what is going to be most appropriate starting from zero, but going up by the same amount each time. When I look at my table of values, I notice that I must get up to $30.50. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up by $5 increments with each step. And now we've done all that, we're ready to start plotting the points. Now to plot these points, we've actually got to look at each one of these little columns on that own. They give us a set of coordinates. The distance coordinates being our x coordinate and the total fare cost being our y coordinate. So when we go to plot this, our first plot is going to be at zero kilometers on our distance or our x axis. And then we go and find where $4.50 would be on our y axis and we put a little dot. We then repeat that for the next set of coordinates, that one kilometer coordinates. And we find where one kilometer would be on our x axis, and we find where $7.75 would be represented on our y axis, and we put another dot. We keep going for this until we've completed all of the coordinates of our table of values, but I'm gonna skip ahead. Now we've done this, you'll notice that we've got this straight line relationship occurring, which we refer to as a linear relationship. Linear meaning straight. But what we can now do is put what's known as a line of best fit. A line of best fit is just a straight line here that's not playing connect the dots. It's just one straight line that best fits the data that we have. So you get your ruler, and you connect a line through here, like I'm doing now, that best describes the set of coordinates you have. Now, of course, you can go further than eight kilometers. So I need to indicate that with a little arrow at the end of my line of best fit. And now what we've done, we've successfully completed a graph for our table of values. So now it's your turn. What I want you to do is answer this. Belly is considering a rival taxi company called Red Taxis, who has a flag full of $3.50 and a charge of $3.50 for every kilometre driven to the destination. What I want you to do is this. Complete the table of values below to show how much the total taxi would be after zero kilometres, one kilometre, two kilometres, all the way through to eight kilometres. Once you've done that, I want you to complete a graph of this on the same graph as the Kelly's cabs graph. And then consider this. If Belly's destination is three and a half kilometers away, which company would Belly be better off using? Kelly's cabs or Red's taxis? And I want you to explain how the graph that you've produced supports your answer. 